Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. I'm here today with another guide. This guide is one that has been kind of requested, not directly, but um, it's been requested in a way. In my comment section, a lot of you guys are saying that you're not getting these VIPs uh, as much as you want to. Maybe you guys only get the VIP once every two years. Maybe you haven't gotten it yet. But this guide is basically just meant to show you how you can get higher kills and die less. And it's not necessarily a guide just to increase your KD, but if you follow this guide and, and this positioning tactics that I show you here, you're gonna have a much easier time um, getting really high up on the leaderboard, if not getting the highest spot on the leaderboard with really as little effort as you can think of. So a couple disclaimers here about this gameplay you're about to see. The first thing is this guide is the easiest way you can get high kills and low deaths. Secondly, I purposely nerfed my own footwork and my own attack variations that I normally use just so that I can show you guys. You can do these things at any skill level. It doesn't require any extra skill. The last disclaimer is that this guide is gonna show you team objective as a game mode is mostly reliant on your positioning. It does not require you to have some amazingly fast reactions or even really good footwork. Now, let me just talk to you about the name of the play style that we're using here. This playstyle is known as the Roaming Slayer playstyle. There are many playstyles in this game that I will be going over in other videos, but this playstyle is the best one you, you can use if you want to be getting high kills and low deaths. A notable player who uses this playstyle is Strida's Angels. Uh, Strida is very good at using this playstyle, and we're going to go over exactly what that means to be a roaming slayer what it means is that you never take fights that are not advantageous to you meaning that you don't approach multiple enemies and you don't get drawn into extended 1v1 situations another thing that the roaming slayer playstyle means is that you should be looking for players who are already in fights with other teammates that you have you should also be looking for enemies who are in the middle of healing or you should be looking for enemies who are bloody and that you can kill in one swift strike. And you should only ever really be approaching the objective if you already have a good amount of teammates there already. If you position yourself in this way, you're going to find yourself never getting outnumbered by the enemy never finding yourself face to face with the best player on the enemy team and you're gonna find that your kills have increased with so much less effort than you ever thought was going to be possible in this game and you're gonna find that you're not really dying as much as you used to now let's get into some applicable situations in this gameplay where i can show you where i'm using this play style to my advantage these first couple situations are perfect examples of the Roaming Slayer playstyle right here. So I'm coming in, respawning with my team, and I see this guy totally out of position, which is exactly what you're looking for. He's already fighting a teammate, so we just come in and we dispatch him very quickly by circling around his repost and his, his block and just taking him out in one, in one strike in a very easy uh, situation that you need to be looking for for high kill games and right after we deal with that guy we come across uh, our teammate here getting 2v1 but he's actually doing a lot of damage to this spearman that he's fighting and I notice that uh, the spear guy is blocking a lot and he's also pretty bloody which means he's one shot no stamina and then I see his guard break which, so while I'm circling around him it's just a very easy uh, stab to get off and you're going to be wanting to look for situations like that any way you can support your team. Um, you'll notice that after I kill him, I just keep moving. I never stay to fight the other guy. You always uh, want to just pick people off with this playstyle. Just like that guy who I just picked off whose back was turned running away. That's another perfect situation where you're going to want to really be watching out for the enemies. If their back is turned to you, running away back to their spawn line, and you can sprint in real quick and get the quick kill, always go for that as well. In this next clip here, you're just going to see an example of me choosing my fights very wisely. 
Um, at, at one point, I noticed that all of my teammates have backed up from the situation, and instead of engaging people who were directly pushing me, I used my superior sprinting speed that I had built up by moving around, and I decided to completely remove myself from the situation uh, near the objective and went back towards my own spawn to support the enemies that were pushing them there. And you're going to see that this was a much better decision than it would have be been to try to take the entire enemy spawn wave by myself. I don't know if you guys have picked up on this yet, but the roaming slayer playstyle is just that. You are roaming around the battlefield and you are picking people off. That is mainly the uh, strategy here. And here's just another example of that. Another interesting situation here. So I see my teammate getting 2v1'd and I decide not to engage because it's not an advantageous situation for me because what's going to happen is that guy is going to get killed and then I'm going to be dealing with a 2v1. So what I do is I wait a little bit and see how the situation unfolds and then I see another teammate uh, in a 1v1 and that is a much more advantageous situation for me because the other guy is low health and I can just go in and pick him off real quick. So that's just another example of what you're looking for. You really need to pick your fights wisely if you want to get high kills. It's not about being good, it's about picking your fights wisely. Matrix dodge. Uh, right here we just um, pull this guy in a little bit and then a teammate engages him and that's when we really start to fight him. Um, I'm always going to be playing uh, the support as the roaming slayer. I don't want to be super aggressive. I want my teammates to be super aggressive for me so I can circle around and get the last hits in. And that's also what you're going to want to be doing. Here we got two more quick kills. Um, I see that, I, that this guy is struggling. He gets lit on fire and it's just another easy kill. You circle around him. One swift overhead. I did light myself on fire here, but uh, after we deal with him, I see another guy on top of the objective, which is not a very good position for him to be in when we're all pushing the objective. So he was just gonna be holding block and not very mobile. So me being more mobile, I was able to come in there and take him out very easily. Another interesting situation here. I see that my teammate is fighting this engineer with the pickaxe and he gets killed. So what I decide to do is I 1v1 him for a little bit, but once I realize that the fight is becoming extended, I disengage and go and help my team somewhere else. And you'll see that it actually works out better because that guy circles around uh, to fight my team and he ends up getting killed just because he ended up putting himself in a bad position. Um, if I stayed in that duel with him for too long, I could have been the one that um, got unlucky and killed. Matrix damage. So after I matrix dodge that guy, I turn around and I see my teammates in a fight with, uh, that they were slightly outnumbered in. So I come in the back and hit them all as much as I can. It got a little bit hairy here, but you're going to be wanting to definitely use these situations to your advantage. Uh, always be trying to hit people in the back is what you should be thinking. Never take fair fights because team objective isn't about fighting fair. If you want to fight fair, go play in a dual server. That's what I got to say about that. Unfortunately, guys, nearing the end of this game here, I did have to adjust my playstyle a little bit because we were losing, and I don't care if you're trying to get a high kill game with low deaths or not. When your team is about to lose, you gotta switch up the playstyle a little bit. So I start to go a little more on the offensive because we're definitely not. It doesn't look like we're taking this objective, so I, I try my best to push here, um, but it was a little bit too late. We ended up losing this game, but I, I think I went like 43 and 6 just using this tactic so uh if you guys enjoyed this if you guys got something out of this um let me know if it helps you out and i hope i earned your subscription with this video so like and comment and if you enjoyed this please subscribe i really appreciate it have a good one peace out